Understanding what a refugium is and the tremendous benefits it can bring to your aquarium is truly a game changer. I'm Jess and today we're exploring why a refugium isn't just an optional feature. It can be an essential tool for building a flourishing reef aquarium. Welcome to Year of the Reef, episode 12. At its core, a refugium is a specially designed space within or attached to your aquarium system, often located in the sump or as a separate attached tank. The purpose of this space is to provide a safe haven or refuge for macroalgae and organisms that promote a balanced, healthy reef environment. The most fundamental function of refugium is to grow macroalgae. These algae act as a natural filtration system, absorbing excess nutrients like nitrates and phosphates from the water. Unlike chemical filtration or special filter media, this approach relies entirely on natural processes to improve water condition. But nutrient control is only the beginning. A refugium serves as a multifunctional powerhouse in a reef system, offering a host of additional benefits. From supporting biodiversity to stabilizing water chemistry, this simple addition can truly elevate your reef keeping game. The first and foremost obvious benefit of a refugium is nutrient management. As macroalgae grow, they extract nitrates and phosphates from the water, preventing these nutrients from building up to a harmful level. This reduces nuisance algae in your display tank, keeping it cleaner and requiring less maintenance. A balanced nutrient level also fosters a healthier environment for your fish and corals, allowing them to thrive. Beyond nutrient control, a refugium acts as a breeding ground for microfauna like copepods, amphipods, and mycid shrimp. These tiny organisms play a crucial role in the ecosystem, not only by consuming detritus, algae, and diatoms, but by also serving as a natural nutritious food source for many reef fish and corals. Since a refugium provides a protected space for these creatures to reproduce without predation, it ensures a continuous supply of live food cycling into your display tank. This boosts the health of your fish and can even increase the growth of your corals. Another often overlooked benefit of refugium is the ability to help stabilize pH levels. By running your refugium light on a reverse daylight schedule, eliminating the refugium while your main tank lights are off, you can counteract the natural pH drop that occurs at night. This simple practice creates a more stable environment, which is especially important for sensitive reef inhabitants. Setting up a refugium might seem complicated, but it's actually quite straightforward. First, you'll need a designated space. For many reefers, this is a chamber in the sump. Systems like the Waterbox Infinia Reef 230.6 make it easy, offering a removable baffle to customize the refugium area. You can opt for a smaller or larger refugium space or even choose to forego it altogether by completely removing the baffle. When it comes to substrate, the choice is yours. Some reef keepers prefer to use sand as a substrate for macroalgae that require planting in sand or to increase surface area for beneficial bacteria. However, sand can require more upkeep to prevent detritus buildup. In our setup, we've chosen to go substrate free for easier maintenance. Adding live rock or rubble to your refugium is another option. Rocks provide anchoring points for macroalgae and create barriers to prevent clogging. They also offer additional surface area for beneficial bacteria and provide a haven for microfauna like copepods. By creating rock piles in your refugium, you can establish low flow areas where these organisms can thrive. The star of the refugium, of course, is the macroalgae. Chetomorpha, or Cheto, is one of the most popular options due to its effectiveness in nutrient control and ease of care. If you're setting up a display refugium, other visually appealing macroalgae varieties can be added for aesthetic purposes, but Cheto remains the go-to for most reef keepers. To kickstart your refugium's ecosystem, seeding with copepods is essential. You can purchase live cultures from your local fish store or online and add them periodically to maintain a healthy population. Since your refugium is connected to the main system, a steady stream of these microfauna will make its way into the display tank, enriching the diet of your reef inhabitants. Lastly, you'll need a light to grow your macroalgae. While specialized refugium lights are available, a high-quality freshwater planted light can work just as well. For our Infinia Reef 230.6 setup, we're using the Waterbox FLED light, which has proven excellent for macroalgae growth. While refugiums are fantastic tools, they aren't without their challenges. One common issue is overgrowth. If your macroalgae grows too efficiently, it can strip the water of all the nutrients, leaving it too clean. Corals rely on a certain amount of nutrients to thrive, so maintaining balance is crucial. Regularly harvesting your macroalgae or reducing the amount you grow can help address this issue. Another consideration is trace element depletion. Macroalgae can consume essential trace elements needed by your corals, which means you may need to supplement these elements to maintain proper levels in your system. If you have a large amount of macroalgae or is growing rapidly, the rate at which these elements are getting depleted can be rather rapid, so monitoring these levels is crucial. For those without a sump or designated refugium space, a hang-on-back refugium can be a practical solution. 
While effective, hang on back refugiums can be less aesthetically pleasing and may require careful placement to avoid disrupting the overall look of your setup. Additionally, because they're external, there's a greater risk of clogging or leaks. If you're looking for a natural, low maintenance way to control nutrients, promote biodiversity, and stabilize pH, a refugium is an excellent addition to your reef aquarium. It's not only a functional component, but also a way to enhance the overall health and balance of your system. However, like any tool, it requires careful monitoring to avoid overcleaning or nutrient imbalances. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.